All right, for those of you who don't know, I actually just turned 19 in September, September 18th, baby, Virgo season. I just uploaded that video, so if you haven't seen it, go check that out. But anyways, in honor of Halloween and my newly discovered archive of old videos, I decided to upload my 18th birthday get ready with me because I thought it would be funny and decided to edit it for you guys. So let the cringing begin. My first time ever saying anything this morning. Wow. I'm gonna be real quiet because it's kind of early. Your girl is 18, so period. Yeah, basically, y'all basically already know what's up. I'm just gonna film like get ready with me or whatever for my 18th birthday. I know the mannequin looks kind of suspect there, but I used it to make my first wig. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. I've definitely seen way worse at my school. No shade, just tea. So I'm probably not going to talk that much in the beginning of this just because it's really early. It's like 5.30 right now. I'm excited. My outfit is cute. I took some pictures. It's currently Wednesday. I had a photo shoot on Saturday for my um, birthday. So I took some cute pictures to finally post on my Instagram. I also have cheer tryouts today, so that's fun but you know we're gonna make the best of it i'm kind of nervous but i mean there's no competition i'm gonna just get ready kind of quietly for now and then once everybody starts to wake up then i may like chit chat with y'all let me read my face real quick because this ain't cute all right <laughs> let's go all right here we go let's brace ourselves because i really don't know what's gonna be unfolded in this video but let's get it started so obviously i'm starting with my brows i used to do my brows with eyeshadow and actually i still kind of do this is still kind of what i do and so i started with the deep brown and then went in with a black eyeshadow and now i'm carving them out i do my brows shape a little different now though so it's kind of weird um and i also don't really fill in my brows anymore i'm more of like a pencil gal now and that's just on occasion usually i just conceal so yeah but can we just talk about the fact that i literally have a grandma face i think i've started to accept it but like i look so old in the face but young at the same time like i don't know what it is and i pretty much look like an alien in this video i don't know what it was but maybe i'm just cringing because it's me but not my best brow situation, but it'll do. It, I ain't complaining. All right, so now I'm starting with some primer. I always do the same thing, pretty much do my brows first, then prime. And I, I think I use like a cheap Revlon primer, something random. And y'all, I'm so ghetto. I was running out of foundation. So I had to use a brush to stick into my Maybelline Fit Me. Y'all already know to scoop out some foundation and make it work on my face. It worked, but it was a struggle. And now obviously I'm using a beauty sponge, definitely not a beauty blender cause a bitch was broke, but we're using a beauty sponge and tapping that all over the face. I think it's from AOA Studios. That's pretty much where I got everything from. Gotta blend down that neck, baby. Yes, sir not gonna clock me today no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ham no turkey all right now we're concealing this used to be my favorite combination the fenty concealer and then the la girl pro over top of that literally chef's kiss so good if you've never tried that mix actually use it i don't know why i don't use it anymore but i definitely want to try it again because I, literally it was amazing like perfect the perfect perfect consistency perf perfect damn i can't even speak perfect coverage loved it so and y'all know i've always over concealed so i literally put like the whole tube on my face but it's cool gonna blend it out with that same knockoff beauty sponge that's literally broken oh my gosh that is so crazy Ooh, is that what we're doing now we dirty we using broken sponges? Oh my god. Anyways, we're gonna start setting. I believe I use the Huda Beauty um setting powder. And I used to lightly set 
first, which I still kind of do this occasionally, but I lightly set my face first and then I will go back in and apply some powder over top to bake with because I do have very oily skin, like really badly. But I do think that I went a little too crazy with this bake. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know it's Halloween, but dang, we ain't had to look that ghostly. Yes, baby, add some warmth to that face because I don't know what we're doing, but I'm taking my literal favorite bronzer, still use it to this day, Drugstore Bronzer by Nika K, the shade ND009. Love it. That's what I've been using on my face. I do use the lighter shade now, but I used to use the darker one. But I love a bronze face, period. But obviously, we're just bronzing up the skin a little bit. And now I think I'm dusting off the powder. Yes. Dusting that bake off or whatever. Okay, cool. And I think I realized that I was looking a little ghostly. So I just went all over my face with some more of that bronzer. Literally all over. And just wiped some bronzer on my face. Because, baby, I was looking like a different race. <laughs> And I wasn't really into blush here, so I don't really, I guess I just decided to use it because it was a special occasion, but I did blush my face a little bit. Not much, it literally barely did anything, but I mean, it's a little something there. It's a little something, something. Now we set in the face. I wasn't even spraying my face. Do y'all see where the spray is going? Literally, what am I doing? Just sitting there wasting product and I was broke. But now I'm highlighting. I believe I'm using the Huda Beauty highlighting palette, and I did get it from Ipsy, which is why I was able to afford it. Otherwise, no ma'am. And I did like to layer my highlighters, so I mixed two from the same Bronze Sands palette and highlighted everywhere, cheekbones, brow bone, everywhere. And then I didn't really feel like doing eyeshadow this year. If you saw my 20, or not 2017, but my 17th birthday, get ready with me. I went all out, quote unquote, with my eyeshadow and used glitter and everything, but I wasn't feeling it this day. And I had practice after school, makeup was gonna melt, or tryouts after school. So I just went in with literally a brown shade. But look how splotchy that is. Oh my gosh. Who let me go out the house like that? And my wings aren't even even. Not at all. It's smudging into my crease babe oh but this is something that i still like want to do now but i just don't really have the stuff actually i may do it again but um i used to do dots all over my face and people used to ask me like what the fuck like what are you doing this one person used to always come up to me like why do you come to school in full drag i don't know if i could say offense to that or like do we need to fight but as you guys can see, I love to do polka dots all over my face. And I realized that that wasn't enough, so I added some more. But I really like it, and it, like, draws attention to your eyes. And so people don't look elsewhere. Because I do have a big chest, and that's where people tend to look. Look at my eyes. Look at me and my eyes, baby. But I wanted to keep this in because I wanted to show y'all how quick I used to pop on my lashes. This is real time. Boom, boom. In and out, baby. Next eye, pop that thing on. Boom. Boom. Watch out. Watch out. Babe, we're finished. Period. Look at that. Talent. Now we're going to pop some mascara. I still use this mascara. My favorite mascara of all time. It's really expensive. I think it's like $40 a tube but it's so good like it works so well i don't even know how to describe it it's so good not the eyelash glue on my eyelid though that ain't cute baby clean it these uneven wings are getting me too baby oh my god this is what i'm gonna use to make sure that the pearls as long as possible these my normal glasses and these are my bad bitch glasses period bad bitch glasses they 
yet I literally cannot see anything out of these so I don't know how this gonna work but that is shoddy <laughs> Okay, so I definitely curled my hair last night and it didn't want to stay, apparently, because what is this? You just grab the time as soon as you want it? I'm telling you, that don't work. No. Hmm? Huh? No. Happy birthday, Kara! Thank you. Happy birthday, Kara! so now we're doing the hair and I'm using a normal curling iron as a curling wand because I couldn't afford to get nothing new I got this from my mom it's literally so old I think she said that she used it when she was like in college or something so old and as you can see the tip is broken so I burned my fingers so many times I remember like fingers were blistered like that's how bad it was because there was nowhere to hold but we're just wrapping and curling, wrapping and curling, and spraying some got to be, I think, as like a holding hairspray or whatever to keep them curls locked in. I do remember those curls lasted all day, so I'll give it the props. But I think I ended up spraying like half the can, like not no cap, baby, like half the can on my hair. And I had sprayed some on the night before. Like, by the time I took this wig off, it was crunchy. Crunchy. But I am really proud of myself. This was my first ever wig ever made. And it came out so good. And it was pretty... I'm not going to say it was melted because I definitely... If you get up close, it's like, ooh. Um, but it looked pretty good for my first time ever applying a wig, ever making a wig like fully customized like and when I tell you I made it like bought the tracks and put it on the cap sewed on the closure like did all that so I'm pretty proud of myself at this but there I go spraying the whole can of got to be and ooh, not the gap in the wig oh I pray that I fixed that baby not me going out sad on my 18th Y'all, I'm, like, really cringing throughout this whole video. Like, why haven't I cleaned the concealer and foundation off of my lips yet? That's what's getting me. Can we do that? Can we get that taken care of? And these faces, baby. Not the light, y'all. I had such a ghetto setup. My lamp kept flickering. Oh, my gosh. This brings back so many memories, though. Ugh. Like, even to the point where I remember, like, who I was talking to at this point, and, like, mmm, the cringe, the absolute cringe, oh my gosh. But now I'm raking out these curls so that at least I know how to separate a curl, okay? I didn't just leave them there so that we actually looking good but these curls did last all day like even after tryouts and everything like these curls lasted so give it up for got to be glued because that shit held these curls tight right and tight look i'm putting this crown on because i knew my lace was looking a mess the face I'm gonna go brush my teeth right fast and I'll come back and put my outfit on. Okay, so I have on the fit. I actually have to run to Walmart. Well, I don't like to spend money on white shoes because I get them dirty so quick. So I just go to Walmart and get some $5 shoes and wear them until they get dirty and they buy a new pair. So I have to go and get some because I forgot to. But here's the fit. Best believe I'll be getting plenty of snaps. I don't have my lips on yet, but like I said, I'll be getting plenty of snaps. So you will see it i promise yeah so i'm already for 18. y'all want to see my balloons we have to leave pretty soon if i want to go to walmart and make it to school on time and drop my sister off at work one time i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video thank you to everyone wishing me happy birthday all the birthday wishes they're so special to me and yeah love you guys so much 18 and senior season is lit
But yeah, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.